So our schedule is given to us like even like a week in advance and so far the schedule has been so much easier than it's been in the past. For example, like Coach Herman, what he's trying to do is make each week like a game week where Joey tried to explain it where we start kind of slow on Monday and then we work up the intensity and then by Friday we're kind of like off our legs and then Saturday it's our scrimmage or our game day. So um, as far as like the intensity and how camp has been, it's been a lot better for us and our bodies feel a lot greater. And today you guys got into the team drills towards the end? Yeah, so our uh, we didn't do a field goal period today, but we were thrown into live situations, which is more game-like. So it's a lot more intense, I would say, for the kicking perspective. Okay, and how's the stash going? For uh... It's hanging on. <laughs> it's hanging on, but uh, I'm starting to grow the sides back. I'm, it's kind of getting old for me. I like my beard. <laughs> Rick, do you have anything? Yeah, so um, obviously last year, a little bit of a disappointment because you didn't get to participate, you know. Um, what kind of goals do you have set for yourself this year coming back in from a mindset perspective? Uh, just take each rep at a time. We have a, one of our pillars of the program is going 1-0, and and I kind of incorporate that into kicking, just one kick at a time. If I miss the last rep, the only thing that matters is the next one. And if I made the last rep, the only thing that matters is the next one. So uh, we have a great group of kickers between the four of us. We usually have three, but we're competing with four. And I can say at any given day, anybody is the kicker of this team. So uh, just just taking one rep at a time, you know, it'll all fall into place. You're primarily field goal, correct? Yes, sir. And then Carter's been focusing on kickoffs? He does kickoffs, and he also is kicking field goals as well. Okay, so um, PAT duties right now, kind of falling with Carter more? or We haven't gotten there yet. We're just taking each day one at a time, you know, and by the end of camp we'll have our kicker decided for field goal and kickoffs. All worked out by then, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what the stash thing, I'm, I'm, every day it's a, a different take on it. So your take is what? When we first asked, I think six days ago, there were 10 guys and it was a movement. Then a couple of the guys in the middle were like, it's not really a movement. We're not aware of it. And then yesterday a guy came back in and he was talking about the stash without being asked. What does it mean to you? It's just like a brotherhood, you know, you, you see some, some guys like even like in baseball and whatever, where they'll dye their hair, whatever, for summer training, whatever it is, we do camp stash and that's just kind of, just kind of our thing. And since it's fall camp, we don't really see anybody outside of the facility anyway. Right. So it doesn't matter what we look like. Right. That's just kind of a funny gig. But you're going to go back to a beard. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll have to come back to the photo for that. <laughs> All right. Show the progress before and after. <laughs> All right. We'll Thanks, sir. So it's getting to be an old hat for you. Um, how easy has it been this fall knowing every day what you're going to do and that you're working with experienced players? Yeah, uh, honestly, every year it does get easier and easier. Um, it's kind of like the same schedule. This year's improved. Um, so each year I know what's coming. So if I set a plan, my goals, and do what I'm supposed to do, everything goes pretty smooth. Yeah. So... You had the starting role last year, correct? Yes, sir. For, pr for punting. And I know every year is a new year. Um, and then you got Nick back here that you're working with. He's primarily doing holding duties right now. Is that correct? He's holding and punting as well. Holding and punting. Okay. So are you guys battling it out still? Or have yes, we decided sir. on every a starter day, yet? Like, every day we is it like with what he said with the field goals? Yes, sir. Every day we come in, it's competition. The one day is decided, so I come ready to work, and that's it. Okay, so in the event that you don't go, he's the backup punter primarily. I'm yes. just trying to figure out from a depth yes, perspective when I write this piece, yes. so I have people in the right slate. So right now, if we were to start right now, there's no decision made on who the starting punter is, correct? There's no decision no, on the starting punter. Um, obviously, there's an experienced guy, um, and we got a guy that's really working hard to it, and we're giving them both an opportunity to compete. Okay, got it. So, personal goals for you this year. I know I was looking at your stats. Got some bombs in there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you have something set that you want to try to improve on or that you're working on specifically with regards to your punting, accuracy, or anything like that? Um, just be better every day and be more consistent. Um, take out a couple of those mishaps that happened last year and just try to be as perfect as I can. This Honestly, year. don't remember those, so. If I don't remember them, you shouldn't remember them. Yeah.
media is usually your biggest critic, although that's not my style, but I honestly don't remember it. Um, okay, well, good. Um, camp stash, nothing there for you. Yeah, I don't grow much up here, so. What, what, what's that mean? I mean, I see a little shadow. Yeah, it's, and it's well, only I'm, 10. You might see a little here and there. I thought about it. I might die it. I might <laughs> die it just so I can feel apart. But, but you right. might you might come in late with it? Late with Slide in? Yeah, okay, all right. Works. Still oh boy. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Your experience, but you're coming in this year with the year of college football under your belt. Yeah. How has that changed your camp experience? Yeah, I think obviously um, the more reps you get at something, the better you're going to be at it, obviously. And, um, you know, coming in every day, competing against uh, Luke, but obviously he's a great punter. So, it's good kind of um, have someone to, to compete against. You're not just competing, against, even though you are competing against yourself in punting because um, it's sort of just you and the snapper out there. Obviously, there's other guys on the field, but that's the main two guys. So um, I'm just more so just trying to trying to get better every day, focus on each rep, each individual punt, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I should have asked Lupo this as well, but how much do you guys watch the offense knowing that, okay, this year we're going to need, be, need to be able to boom it or this year it's going to be placement. Have you been able to pick up on that yet? Yeah, I think as a party, you need, obviously you need to be good at pinning them deep inside the 10 and then you need to have the big ball as well. So um, I think that doesn't, yeah, it's sort of, you sort of pay attention to that, but not really. Obviously you're watching the offense to see how far down the field they move the ball, but it's also a call, coach calls whether you want it to be a, a, a pooch punt, an end over end punt or a, or a spiral. So. You can sort of have to work on both and then the rollout as well. So, yeah. Good. Great, go ahead. How, how's the, uh, I haven't talked to you before and you may have answered this and if you did, I'm sorry, but I'm going to ask anyway. So good. Adjustment from Aussie lifestyle. And I know that you were a tennis guy before. So uh, I so. Yeah, I played I guess, tennis as a junior. Yeah. And you were a pro somewhere. Uh, like junior, like I played like the junior tournaments. Yeah. But I thought I saw you as a staff member at some place. They had a picture of you as like a pro. Uh, no, I played at my, I like, I coached my high school. Okay, um, that's team. what it was. Yeah, for a little okay. bit as well. Yeah. Okay, so, but coming over here and the lifestyle, is there a contrast, definitive contrast? A little bit. Uh, where I grew up was pretty similar to like where it is here. I was really close to the beach. The The house I grew up in down the end of the street was the beach. So okay. it's pretty similar to here. We're only 1.8 miles away from the beach, so... Pretty similar. Um, I quite like the uh, the South Florida lifestyle as well. The the hot, humid weather. It's good. Um, you like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, okay. I, yeah. I, I'm not really too fussed with the weather, to be honest. Um, I really do. Yeah, enjoy it. And yeah, uh, the food's a little bit different. It's a bit healthier in Australia, so that was a little bit of an adjustment, but not too much, to be honest. You guys both speak English, so it's pretty easy. And the Vegemite is what? The Vegemite is a breakfast, uh, like paste sort of thing that you use a condiment. Um, you put it on toast and then you put a bit of butter on it as well. I quite like it. Coach Lunsford didn't mind it. Um, what is in it though? What's in it? It's like yeast. Uh, it's a bit bitter. It's like a savory thing. Uh, yeah, Coach Lunsford didn't mind it, but Coach Herman hated it. So, yeah. yeah. The only other thing I was curious about, um, this is somewhat for personal edification, um, been following football a long time, but I don't understand the entirety of the role for a holder. I know that they have things beyond just holding the ball. Yeah. Like protected duties and things along those lines. So you're a pretty big guy, so that plays in well. Um, yeah. Can you can you just quickly walk me through some of the things that people might not know that a holder is actually responsible for? Yeah. So the first thing is to kick and box the spot where they want to kick it from. Um, and then they do the progression walking back into the side. And then I'm looking at the kicker the whole time. And then I look down at the ground at the spot. And then I look at the snapper. And then Nick snaps the ball. And then more often than not, the laces are usually out yeah, because Nick's a very good snapper. But if it was to be off by a little bit, then I'd have to turn it and have the laces facing the field goal. And then also if there's the wind, if the wind's coming cross breeze or like at the back or something, then I might need to... So usually you tilt it towards you. But if the wind's going like... A certain way that you might need to tilt it a little bit to the other way or a little bit forward to drive the ball out a little bit more and when somebody gets beyond penetration point do you, yeah do you, what's the role there well it's usually the operation time takes care of that so snap to kick snap hold to kick um but if something goes wrong then we have like a play that we have that we run if um like there's a bad snap or something goes wrong so yeah
So you're not a bodyguard for the character? Not sort of, not really, I guess. Um, because yeah. the so they're not really going for me, the the guy coming off the edge. Because by the time they get there, the ball's already going to be kicked. So they're trying to like dive for the ball and not like directly at me. So they're coming like off the edge and outwards. So yeah. Okay. Coming at me. Yeah. So you look like you could take on. Yeah. Well, in, in Australian football, you uh, you tackle in that game without pads and stuff. So right. So more like all, rugby, right? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. sort of like rugby, not really. It's a completely different sport, but. Um, yeah, so I've got, even though I don't get reps here tackling, I've done a lot of reps there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah. Thank well, you. Good. That's it. All right. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank yeah, you. No worries.